What's up, family and friends? Welcome to the Woke Nation. And how are you doing? I hope you're doing great and uh, having fun, enjoying your life, living your life because it's yours. You have to live your life, especially it's your business. So you have to mind your business. Your life is your business. You have to mind it. Huh. So I want to speak on what I titled Why the Fuse About COVID 19? Why all this unnecessary noise our people are making? Why all this unnecessary argument they are making? Why all this unnecessary uh, blame game they are making or trying to paint someone evil because of COVID-19? I woke up today, you know, continually seeing and hearing our people talking about how COVID-19 is a host, is a scam, uh one of them said that uh, the the covid 19 death is a trap or that some post that are uh, Putin, i mean putin so you can call him Putin. putin said that uh, he will not lock down the second time that coronavirus is a scam and all that what is wrong with our people especially you africans i have been calling on you to activate your brain and start reasoning for yourself is because your brain is dead by religion. That's why whoever opens a blog or posts something, you're just wrong with it without thinking. Oh, because you watch in a move in a video, somebody telling you that Max is uh, killing you. Somebody tell you that COVID-19 is, is not true, it's not real. Then you believe it because they give you some examples. You believe it. What is wrong with you? When I was living in Nigeria, malaria was real to me right i suffered it many times if not more than twice in a month malaria virus but since i'm living in america there's mosquitoes also in america i eat fried things in america but i don't have malaria when i was living in nigeria as i was not when i lived in nigeria and any time i plan to visit nigeria i go to my doctor he give me a prescription i will take i will start taking it from one week to the day i will travel and also when i'm in nigeria every week i'll be taking one tablet and when i come back to america i will continue taking it after two, two uh, in two weeks more and if you come if you come coming from africa and you have malaria they find out at the point of uh, at the point of entry you have malaria or after you enter you go to hospital they say you have malaria they will quarantine you to americans malaria is a host to americans malaria is a, a scam how about those who are taking malaria vaccine now how about those who are taking measures to prevent malaria are they crazy those who have not suffered malaria will tell you it doesn't exist. You know, anybody that's selling you chloroquine and all that, they're just making money off you. Just as you see many people talking about the gays and the coronavirus. They say you want to make a vaccine, you want to sell their vaccine. Of course, he's a businessman. Whatever you are selling, why are you selling it? Is it not for you to make money? the school you attended or you still attending the, whatever you are doing in this life now what, tell me why you are not why you are doing it if not for money you attended that school you graduated and you you're working now what what else especially most african most africans are we going to school to invent things no we have engineers yet we can't we can't build our roads we have doctors we can't even treat ourselves they are going where they will. We have many, doc, many people that became doctors in Nigeria. They have to travel abroad to start making much, much money. Yet you're running your mouth. Uh, to, um, be gate, you want to make his vaccine. Or you want to depopulate Africa. And that's why I say, what is wrong with this, our people? I know what is wrong with them, but they need to wake up. Malaria has rot your brain and those of you that those of you that claim to be awakened and you still can't see about the, the reality of COVID-19. You are still asleep. That's why I say it's not everyone that said they are awakened that are awakened. Some of them are sleepwalking. Some of them they think because they stopped being Christian or Muslim or Jew and now switching to African spirituality, that means they are awakened. No. You still have belief system and this belief system that will make you believe whatever you read online without verification. 
with because somebody say it and it, they, they quote their, their their type then you go to wherever they ask you to go you use yourself i always tell you this you are supposed to be the the the, the 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 main proof for whatever it is whatever you believe or whatever you are saying whether it's factual or not your life supposed to be the real evidence you are making noise Look, look, use America as an example. I am living in America, working in, in hospital. So I'm in the healthcare department. Yes, yeah, somebody's asking me, have you seen anyone with COVID-19? Have you seen any coronavirus? <laughs> have, you, have you seen anyone with HIV? Have you seen anyone with AIDS that died? Have you seen one? Oh, until you see, that's when you will believe, right? Okay, yeah, hospitals are open. Why not go to hospitals, go to COVID-19 unit? Tell the doctors, tell the nurses, don't worry, I don't need your mask, I don't need your PPEs, I don't need your goggles, I don't need your, 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 your rope. I don't need anything you are using to protect yourself from contacting COVID-19 from other patients that have it. I will go and have discussion with them, I will kiss them, I will give them a hug. They are people like me. COVID-19 is a host, it's a lie. Lamb from America, when COVID-19 started, in China, people were dying in China in thousands. And they alerted the president of America, Donald Trump, the one you still believe in, or the one you still know. He said it's a hoax. He said it was his political op opponents that are, you know, uh, that, that, are, that are lighting it up, that are making it to be, uh, to be a something serious. He said it's not serious. Oh, they said they have 15 patients now in America. You're gonna go down to zero. And today, more than 120 Americans have died of COVID-19. Whether you say, no, it's not COVID-19, it's something else. Okay, doctors also are dying. Nurses are dying. Your priests, your pastors, they are also dying. Donald Trump is keep claiming. And you keep following that man. That man is a rich man. Criminal rich. That's when a mafia, that man is... Uh, corrupt rich man corrupt way corrupt deep in it you are following him the man is well protected you are not even if they test him positive today they can hide it and tell you no positive and still give him medication to go and appear there as if nothing is happening to him and you believe in him how about you you are vulnerable you are listening to those who don't care about you the experts are telling you, use masks. You say, no, mask is stopping me. But you have been going to hospital without mask. And those nurses in the hospital and, not, and doctors, they have been using masks. Have you entered into, into some uh, uh, lab or um, surgery room uh, where they do surgery? Don't you see the doctors? They put on all the PPEs. They would have just, oh, don't worry. Okay, we're doing the, the this. They don't even want your blood to touch them. Don't you know there was a time the uh, doctors and nurses weren't using gloves or, or masks? They were doing that and they, they start dying. Then that's when people begin to come up with masks. Mask does not heal you. It's not a cure. It's for prevention. It cannot kill you. You say, oh, it's stopping your breathing. You are, you, are, you are lying to yourself. And after you will go say you are putting on masquerade. What is that one? You will go and say you are watching masquerade. You are watching those that put it on. But mask, they ask you to put for pre prevention or for protection, not for cure. Because coronavirus have no cure. You say, no, it's a lie. Coronavirus is not true. Why? Because some people you see, you regarded as greater than you are saying that. Then you can't use your brain. You begin to buy into it. Why is this noise, unnecessary noise about COVID-19? Do you have COVID-19? No. Do you want to have it? No. So what, what are you saying? If you want to say test that COVID-19 is fake or is real, hospital is open. Wherever center they tell you the quarantine uh, coronavirus patient or people that were tested positive, go there, tell them, please, I want to die. I want to take it. They give you paper, you sign, go. You will not do it, but you come online making unnecessary noise. As I said last night on that video, because we have been so divided, our, we, we, are, we are stolen people, we are killed people, we are destroyed people. It, it, is, it is rare to find people among us who are using their brain 
majority of them are not using their brand. They only claim to use their brand when they agree with you in certain things. But they are not. This thing is serious. When it started, we told you this is white man's virus. It's not for black people. You have melanin, they don't have. In China, it was killing a lot, many of them, no black person. In Italy, the same thing, no black person until it comes to America. Because in America, that's where you see black people, there are still slaves in America. That one taking care of those white people who have COVID-19. So they got it. And because there is no cure, they die of it. Some most, majority of them survive in it. Yes, somebody is asking me, do you, have you seen anybody that have coronavirus? It's like asking me, have you seen anybody that have Ebola virus? Have you seen anybody that have malaria virus? Have you seen anybody that have HIV virus? That's the type of question some people who are grown, at least you must be 18 to be on Facebook, are asking somebody. Many people have certain things you don't have. That doesn't mean it's a hoax. That doesn't mean it's a scam. That doesn't mean it. even some people, somebody, I, I unfriended him some minutes ago. He said that the white man gave us Jesus. That's the same way they gave us COVID-19. Bullshit. Have you seen anyone saved by Jesus? No. Have you seen anyone that Jesus helped? No. But can you see people that are dying of COVID-19, coronavirus? Of course, as we speak. Somebody is dying this moment in America here. I'm living. You say it's not COVID-19 that is killing them. What is killing them? What is killing them? They say, no, they install 5G. So 5G weakens your immune system. What is, waiting, what, what is 5G waiting to, immune, to weaken my own immune system? That's why you should think. You are right there, you know, those uh, guys are playing basketball. And one sit on the chair, wrapping the weed. After he wrap it, he starts smoking it. He was with them. They begin to come one by one to smoke, passing the same thing to others. Imagine if that guy, the first guy, or one of them that have COVID-19, or whatever disease is, they smoke it and pass it, and they smoke it, their saliva, they exchange it. Then tomorrow they begin to suffer. You ask me to send them my thoughts and prayer. Fuck you. Can't you think these people, COVID-19 does not kill everybody. It's, you have to have that weak immune system. You have to have some medical condition before it can kill you. And you don't want to listen. We have been saying this from the beginning. Something that, that, that is not meant for you, if you go close to it, it will also affect you. But if you are wise, separate yourself. Why are you making noise? You are living in Africa where there's no much coronavirus. You said there is no coronavirus. Who told you before it was African thing? Who told you? You are not listening. But you are people who traveled, went and brought it or something like that. Or maybe because you don't have good experts in your area, you have malaria, they tell you it's coronavirus. Can you prove it wrong? No. And because they have the power, not your God, not whatever you believe that is controlling this world that have that power, they shut you down. And they can tell you you are not traveling, you are not traveling. They say you are not coming out, you are not coming out. Is lockdown also scam? When they locked down, didn't you stay in your house? In some areas, they were flogging you. They beat you up. They arrest you for disobeying their coffee or their lockdown. In, a, in a New Jersey, where I'm living right now, you cannot go into any store without mask. If you want to buy there, and that's, you read your Bible, they say, see, 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 without that mark, you cannot buy or sell. Is it not the same thing that is happening now? And you will say in his hooks. I hear say that uh, Donald Trump's uh, son's girl, girlfriend have COVID-19 now. It's coming close. <laughs> you can deny it all you want, but because you don't have it, doesn't mean it's a hoax to those who have it. And stop comparing it with nonsense things like imaginary being Jesus. We are proving to you that Jesus never existed in history. It's not all the world that embraced Jesus. 
But you think, oh, okay, let me tie it to that. I think this type of people are preaching that Jesus is not real. COVID-19 is not also real. What can Jesus do for, is there any hospital they have a uh, unit for Jesus, for healing? No. Because it is not real. That's what we have been saying. So why the unnecessary argument? Why the honest? If you still believe that COVID-19 is a host, is a scam, is a trap, unfriend me. And after this video, if I see any post on my news feed that is supporting that propaganda against COVID-19, I will unfriend the person. That's it. The sky is too broad for two beds to collide. We are doing things for you to wake up and you are pretending coming to throw uh, 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 that, that, that uh, uh, trench in the engine. You claiming to be awakened and you are believing all those nonsense that people are saying. Let your life be the perfect example of what you believe or what you are saying. You say the coronavirus is a, is a host. Travel, let us see now. You say they locked down. Stupid, why did they lock down? If there was no coronavirus, they wouldn't have locked down in the first place. I'm talking about white people. I'm not talking about you Africans. You Africans don't have say. Your government don't have say. They are following white people. Any day white people say, okay, we lift up. Your, your own presidents will say they lift up. They don't have their own say. Your own presidents, are they being treated in your own continent or in your own country? No. They travel to white man's land. And that's what I'm telling you. This coronavirus should open your eyes to see that you are still slaves. No matter the God you worship, no matter the Jesus you worship, you are still a slave. Government is the God, the real God that controls you. You are living under their power. Yeah. My daughter job, three, three staffs died. In my present job now, an Igbo man who is a doctor died, I think, last month or last two months of COVID-19. Because some of them that still have faith, you know, but you see other doctors, they masquerade themselves, like even coming to our own unit, which is psych unit, they still wear other. I see them, I will be laughing. I say, oh man, you don't want to die. They tell me, man, it's not a joke. But you still see some morons. Some of you that claim to be awakened still have some a ton of morons in you. That's why when you see other morons say something that triggers you, oh, you get so excited about it. Yeah, it's true. That's what I've been thinking. That's what I've been saying. And you begin to share. That's why I said because we have been so divided, instead of us solving our problem, we become part of the problem. You see that the rich is getting richer, the poor getting poorer. Now you want to invest. We become part of the problem. Because if you cannot beat them, you join them, right? And that's why we keep you in perpetual slavery. We have to wake up as a people. What you don't know, don't run your mouth. Before you speak, get your facts together. Stop following what the television, the radio, the newspaper, or the, the online bloggers are saying. Use your own brain. That's why they keep deceiving you, taking your money. In fact, imagine somebody telling me to sow a seed for me to receive. And you think somebody like me will consider that in a second? No. On a nanosecond? No. Somebody telling me to bring money for the Bring what? Show me the goods. I have to see it. Then if I see it, and give you money later you refuse to give it to me then i will know that you are really wicked at least i saw it before i give but this one you haven't seen anything they ask you give by faith you give so it by faith and you are using your faith or oh, that sort of nonsense belief you have for this coronavirus people are dying of it then uh, Trump can present all the world. Look at the, uh, all the places he have. Uh, he had a uh, um, rally, and those people that believe him, that's where the thing is skyrocketing now in America. Places like Texas, places like Florida, places like Arizona, they were Trump supporters. They say no, it's not. It's not true. They support Trump. Whatever Trump say is Amen, Lord. He is their Messiah. And they end up killing them just as the name of Jesus has been killing many Africans. 
and they are dying today. Go to their ICU unit, they say no more bed. But they thought it was a joke when it was in, in, in uh, New York, New Jersey area, you know, those areas that Democrats have base. They say, no, it's a house, it's not coming to us. They went opening their beaches, opening their bars, beginning to smoke and drinking and talking without masks and all that. Boom! They are dying now. And they will not show you that on television, but some people are showing it to you. You can't watch first news and they tell you the, the truth about COVID-19 and about Trump. They will always tell you lie. Because they must pre protect their lies. You must lie to protect lies. Why all this unnecessary noise about COVID-19? Why is it that you can't use your brain, you Africans, and think for yourself for once? And stop being a ball that anyone can pick and be throwing about. They're picking you, throwing you about, and some dog running, bringing you back to them. It is time you wake up and stop being morons. You have your own mind. I don't, even if I die now, it is, I have done a lot in life and I'm happy with my life that I am not dying ignorant. I am not dying a moron. How about my lady? Let me tell you some things or certain things that are killing you in Africa. Worse than coronavirus. Malaria is still killing you in Africa. Two of us. How about typhoid fever? It's still killing you in Africa. How about yellow fever? It's still killing you in Africa. <laughs> See this in your one. How about hunger? It's still killing you in Africa. How about bad water? It's still killing you in Africa. How about police and the military? They are still killing you in Africa. All the time you have to think, you are using it to believe the nonsense that some stupid people are saying. Does those people have two heads? Oh, oh, Putin said he will not lock down the second time. Oh, Putin, victory. is man, you are stupid. Are they not the one making the weapons of war? Weapons of mass destruction. And you think they care about your life? People that make weapons that can go and wipe out the whole village, wipe out the whole country. And you said that doing what? People, morons like Donald, President of America, Donald Trump, don't care about your life. You're supposed to take care of your life. They will come and pretend all is well because they have all it takes to protect themselves. They are rich. You know what it means to be rich? In other words, they are comfortable. You are not. You cannot even buy a new car yourself. I mean cash. You cannot. You know how long you, 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 you save that money to buy a new car. But these people I'm talking about, they can other hundreds of new cars. They have the money. Even if they don't have the cars, they have the means. They tell you, yeah, this is the, they know the button to press. They have it. But look at you. The same people that are oppressing you, the same people that don't care about you, making weapons and selling it to your brethren to be killing you, making life miserable for you in your own continent, they are the people you are looking up on as your example, as your models. It is time I say to you Africans that are still morons, shame on you. Wake up. From your leaders to the least of you, all of you, shame on you. It's time you wake up and start living your life. We run away from Africa because of this nonsense. If we were using our brain, we won't be running away from Africa. Here I am in America making this. How many of you is, is in, in Africa can make this? You have data to make it. Do you? Some of you after five minutes, oh, my battery is about to die. You're running away. You don't. Yet you're running your mouth as if you can. If coronavirus is a host, go to hospitals where they tell you that is coronavirus you need. Tell them, I love these people. I want to pray for them. Or I want to have some time together with them. They are my fellow human beings. Dine with them, hug them spend time with them in close space you have freedom to do that don't you believe in freedom anymore freedom of speech freedom of movement move to hospitals and have conversation in the same place with those covid 19 patients that's them you see some of your pastors said coronavirus is a host why some of your pastors are celebrating that they have healed some coronavirus patients <laughs> Ha <laughs>
<laughs> oh man, I never say it's a fake, right? Oh yeah, but it's healing the ones who have it. <laughs> oh man, these people. So you telling me that government made COVID nineteen to that some people are saying that also to control people or to put fear in people and all that. And you believe in God? What is your God making? What is your God making? Where was your God before government begin to make those things? Uh, is it not the same way they are making the medicine you are taking? Those medicines also have side effects that end up killing some of you too. Of course, what people are making, they are making it to make money because they have monetized everything now. Anything you are making in this life, if, if, if it's not yielding money, you will even see even your own relation running away from you. All they want to see is how much you are making. They look up at your post, how many likes, how many people following you? Oh, not much. They, they, they say, oh, you don't know what you're saying. It is rare to find awakened Africans today. It is very rare to find somebody who has fully awakened today. Majority of them that claim to be awakened, they still have belief system in them. They still believe there is God in them. They still believe there is God somewhere. They still believe in someone that believes in God. All that bullshit. I don't hate Donald Trump, but Donald Trump hate my people. Therefore, I don't care about Donald Trump. Do you hear what I'm saying? Not only him, every white person that is, you know, supporting slavery or supporting all those monuments built to respect all those people that enslave our ancestors, well, no matter their name, I am also again, I'm not respecting them. You're supposed to understand that somebody is saying fact about you doesn't mean that person hates you. But if they hate me, I hate them back. Hate is not a button. If you hate those that hate you, it's not a button. It is a button for you to love those that hate you. You have to wake up Africans and stop making this unnecessary noise. You said there is no COVID-19. How about malaria? How about hunger? How about HIV? Why are you using condom for sex now? Even some of you using condom when you don't supposed to. <laughs> because you have fear. Oh, well, you forgot to use condom. Then after you hear in the news that somebody is suffering of HIV, your mind begins to jump. Okay, last time I didn't use it. Or maybe I have it. How many of you will go for HIV test today? How many of you? How many of you that is fucking around will go for HIV test? You say, I don't have it. I don't want If I go there now, I may have it. So I'm not going. Let me keep it to myself. I've met somebody in America that we were dating. He said, we must have HIV test. <laughs> I didn't go. <laughs> because I know myself. I don't fuck around. So, but you have heard me. Oh, before you uh, do this, uh, you know, but we'll be using condom. But for, for us to use natural sense, okay, we must have HIV test. I said, don't you know that you can have HIV test now? It's so negative. But it may be in your body, they didn't detect it. Because that's what we also used to say. They said they may test it then after some months, it will show. Uh, tell me, how many of you, let us put H uh, coronavirus aside. How many of you is ready to take HIV test if you know you have been having sex without condom? Even those of you that are having with condom, sometimes the condom boss, or sometimes you still see some you know some some fluid from the female or from the men still touch you you won't go but coronavirus you are saying because some people are who are who trump want to have his government become highest in the whole world he never believed that economy will be falling down or stock will be falling down or things will go the way that's why he says a host it's not true and they begin to bite him he declared it as national emergency can't you think and now he's telling you they have, you know, they have, they have way handled it. It's not true. Thousands are still dying in America as we speak. Hundreds are still dying in America as we speak. It's not a joke. You can Google it. Forget the politics. Forget the religion. Forget the rants. Do your own research. Stop watching those unnecessary videos they make telling you against Bill Gates. And you are using his computer. 
The same nonsense they pulled against Obama, telling you that they want to put chips into your body. That's why they want to make it. They are now using it for big gates. And anyone that is against Trump, <laughs> they tell you they want to give you chip. The same nonsense you were talking are uh, during Obamacare health care. You say, no, they don't want to give you health care. They want to give you chip. And I, I see some of my people from Nigeria asking me, is it true? If it's true, if they come to put chips on you, you say no. Then you live, you stay your life. You say you don't, oh, Vasin is against this. He want, they want to depopulate you. You want to go to their country. They say you must get that vaccine. You will not even blink. You will say, of course, I'm all in. You will go and get the vaccine. I just want to leave this country. You know that. If they say, if they, if they be gay, have any business with any government of any country you want to go, and they say that it is required for you to have a COVID-19 vaccine when it comes out, you will swallow it. You will tell them, I don't want it by injection. Let me swallow it. I want it. And I'll be taking it every day in, in, in America or in Europe or when I travel. I just want to leave this country. And you have forgotten all that. Especially those of you that have traveled out of Africa. You are living in America, in Europe, in Asia. And now you are running your mouth. But you know how you run away. How many of you can go back to your village now? At least stay for two months. How many of you? You will see how your pants will start dropping. You see how you begin to say, oh, come on, this time, please, date, date, run fast. I want to get out of this country. It's hell here. And yet you have the audacity to run your mouth because of your governments are playing with it. Your governments are not viable or are not even qualified for any reasonable thing. You think every government is like that. You think everywhere is like that. Because you have some of your brethren that are living in a country like America where their government at least doing something, something, not all things, something for them. Then you think your yeah, government is like that. Whatever is happening in America is dissenting to us. No. The government of America don't care about you that is in Africa. If they care about you, Africa would have not been the way it is today. The government uh, in, uh, 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 of the European countries, the government of Asian countries, they don't care about you. All they want is what will benefit them. But you are seeking for what will benefit you and them. But they end up using you to benefit themselves and keeping you poorer. It is time you wake up and stop making all this unnecessary noise. Speak what you know, not what you believe, not what you fear. If you are not afraid of COVID-19, I don't know your country where you are. Go find out where they say this is COVID-19 unit in any hospital. Go there. Tell them you want to be there at least for one week. You want to be with these people. They are your fellow human beings. Go and do that. If you believe it's a host, if it's a host, it won't touch you. If it's a scam, it won't touch you. If it's a trap, it won't catch you. So go. You won't go. Let me hear you make noise again and see how I will unfriend you and mind my business. Peace.